several government whistleblowers say that this was a cover-up because NASA shut down IRAS after it imaged Planet X. Their accounts parallel an article published by the New York Times on January 30, 1983, shortly after the IRAS launch. Evidence assembled in recent years has led several groups of astronomers to renew the search for the 10th planet. They are, their accounts parallel an article published by the New York Times on January 30, 1983, shortly after the IRAS launch. Evidence assembled in recent years has led several groups of astronomers to renew the search for the 10th planet. They are devoting more time to visual observations with the 200-inch telescope at Mount Palomar in California. They are tracking two Pioneer spacecraft, now approaching the orbit of distant Pluto, to see if variations in their trajectories provide clues to the source of the mysterious force. And they are hoping that a satellite-borne telescope launched last week will detect heat signatures from the planet or whatever it is out there. It is important to note that the term Planet X was also used to refer to a tenth planet. However, after Pluto was demoted to a dwarf planet in 2006, that definition became irrelevant. But what is relevant is what IRAS imaged and the consequences of those observations. In a Victoria Advocate article published on June 14, 1988, NASA astronomer Dr. John D. Anderson was quoted as saying that telemetry from the Pioneer 10 spacecraft indicated the existence of Planet X. Also note that this article was sourced from Google News and was featured in Yowza.com's March 2012 article titled the Planet X cover-up in the mainstream media. Following publication of our article, the entire June 14, 1988 edition was deleted from the Google News site. However, a complete copy is available for Yowza.com subscribers. But what is relevant here is that Anderson is a NASA astronomer with one heck of a resume, and what he said in that 1988 news article was powerful. In that article he said, we have a 90 to 99 percent confidence that Uranus and Neptune are being disturbed and by one candidate for that is a single Planet X. At that point our government became more interested in keeping public attention focused much closer to home. After all, if you can't see it, it's not there. So go back to sleep America nothing to see here. However, a few curious minds had other notions. On October 1988, Dr. Robert S. Harrington, the chief astronomer for the U.S. Naval Observatory, published his paper, The Location of Planet X, in the Astronomical Journal. In an August 30, 1990 television interview with Zachariah Sitchin, Harrington also said, that Pluto had been a satellite of Neptune, but it was dislodged by Planet X, which he believed could possibly sustain some form of life. He also showed Sitchin a diagram he had created approximating the location of Planet X. Following that interview, Harrington commissioned the construction of a special telescope for a Planet X photographic sky survey in 1991 which was completed at the Black Birch Observatory in New Zealand. The New Zealand observations were performed using Harrington's calculations, and the results were sent to NASA. However, those films vanished and have never been seen again, which leaves us with a big question. Did Harrington actually find Planet X, Neptune's perturber? <laughs>